day 33 of Pompix more it is the hatch from the eggs now they are getting bigger and bigger every day and it seems that I have to change the whole uh, box now because they it's filled with the old substrate of the old leaves and I think I have to move them to a new box where they can start feeding again and where there's not too much of the old uh, leftovers of the leaves present. So, but first let's have a look how nice they are now. Here. Pompix Mori, the famous silk worm originally from China. And I also have good luck to know Uli Ramsayer from Swiss Silk, so I could um, take some of the new leaves from his beautiful garden where he still has some nice big mulberry trees and uh, a lot of green leaves and I also uh, bought me one of his uh, Japanese mulberry trees it's the same like the green ones here with the big leaves uh, now there's just the uh, color like in the fall changes to yellow but I will plant it in the garden and as you see plant it around this size into the soil and next year I hope they will grow up to two meters or higher and then after the first stem is built you can cut in about one meter height you can cut the tree so that they build some new twigs out of this place so I'm very happy to find this Japanese strain of uh, Morus alba. Now what we do is just we take the upper layer with all the caterpillars and move them to the new box like here on the other this one. So this is kind of an easy thing because you all only have to touch the highest uh, leaves here. Some of them are completely eaten up, only the veins of the leaves are left over here. There are some uh, species of silk moss that also eat the these veins of the leaves, but not Bombyx mori. They uh, like to eat only the green, fresh material. So that's probably also one of the effects of cultivation and domestic uh, domestication of this animal you have to give them always nice fresh foods like this one here yeah, and then there are also some smaller ones that are a little bit behind in their development let's see what they do later on and of course here um, you find all of the leftovers of the caterpillars Here's another one. Here's one small one. So I pick up all of these uh, caterpillars. And the rest of the material here you can use as a substrate for your plants. This is two cocoons of Bombix Moe just to show the people how beautifully they are made here. Very nice cocoons and big one from this uh, nice strain of Pompix Moe. I think it's everything out here and I can cover it with the new leaves here. Yeah. If you want you can also tear a little bit apart the leaves so that they are not too big to eat for them. Then just cover them and you will see how fast they can eat it's now three o'clock in the afternoon but tomorrow morning it's eaten up everything already so it can go very fast with Bombix morning although they are a little bit back in time in my breeding process here because my temperatures are around 22 23 degrees so not as warm as normally is in a professional breathing room with around 25 degrees. So stay tuned 
subscribe to the channel you will see what happens I guess that in around one week they will be uh, making beautiful cocoons like this one here cocoons of Bombix Mori thanks for watching